Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in again. Um, it's been a while since I made a video because I was busy with a project um, migrating an exchange 2010 to 2013 uh, with multi-tenant. Um, if you have interest in that uh, or have questions about that, you can watch or read about it at my website www.vgssystems.be. But now I want to show you um, how you can add uh, or boost your VMs uh, performance with a SSD disk. So, how do you do that? Um, so let's start. Log in to your vSphere web client because there is the only way how to configure it. You can't use the um, fat client, the VI client. That's not possible. So let's start. Oh, let's go. So go to your hosts and clusters. Select your uh, ESXi hosts, which while you added the SSD and connected the SSD to. So go to uh, Manage, Settings, and here you have a virtual flash option. So first you have to do is connect the SSD disk, which is logical. So connect it. If you have multiple, you can choose multiple uh, cache size, cache disk if you want. So let's do that. It will take a moment. There we go. You will see a list here of the added SSD disk. You can have multiple, like I said. The file system is VFFS not a VMFS. So now you can go and uh, configure the cache that you want to use from that disk or disks. Let's say now I'm taking a hundred from it. You can use the full disk if you want. There we go. Now you have added cache to your ASX uh, iHost with a SSD disk, which will boost performance. Now, um, what I want to show you first now is um, if you start with 5.5 and you created your VMs with uh, vSphere Web Client, you're probably on hardware version level 10. But if you upgraded in the past from 5 to 5.5 or 5.1, 5.5, then you probably uh, still have VMs running on hardware version uh, 8. So you have to upgrade them first before you can add the cache. So I just want to show you quick how you do it. It's very logical. You choose one of your uh, VMs. Let's say um, which one I haven't done yet. Uh, because I've already done a few. It's already on 10 also. This one. I'm not going to do it live because it's my V center because I lose connection. So as you can see, this is on 8. What you have to do is um, you can right click the machine, choose all, oh, all actions. And under compatibil compatibility, you can upgrade your VM compatibility. And because it's running, I have to schedule it. If it's not running, you can upgrade live. You can upgrade instantly. Now I have to schedule the VMware upgrade because it's running. After the next boot, it will be upgraded to version 10. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because uh, let's do it. Uh, schedule upgrade, yes. As you can see, I can only choose 5.5, 5.1, or 5.5. But I'm not going to do it because I'm going to lose connection. Already done some VMs. So, like, see the DC, the, my second domain control is off and already upgraded it on the fly. So, now you did upgrade it, you can now go to uh, edit your settings from the ver version machine. And under hard disk, you should now see an option virtual flash read cache. Now you can go and add a cache size. 
you can even go in advanced settings and uh, change the block size uh, but you will have to find out what the most block size there is being read on that virtual machine so you need some extra tools to, to see what's uh, going on there but you can change this to uh, size maximum is 1024 so one megabytes but uh, let's leave it at standard if you don't know click OK and that's it you can start your uh, virtual machine now and have a significant boot performance now with two gigabytes it's it's not that uh, very much of a boost performance but you need a little bit more let's say 10 20 uh, the minimum i think would be best the this the size of the memory but there are other articles there what's the best for size for your caching uh and on an ssd disk not going to show you that now so um, how do you see that it's added? As you can see here, there is a virtual flash cache configured. That's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me on my website or on my blog page. Thank you for watching.